Yo guys, what is up it's your boy Rito here, welcome back to a brand new video. So anyways guys, in this video, I have my last scroll, the abyss ring to turn my heroic oath ring, carving, ithro ring, whatever, into a bestel. Woo, your boy's decked out, done, I did every single thing in the game in a few weeks, I heard that Fraxon gear so get a plus one two and three and and including heroic oath. I don't know how well that's gonna work. I just reach in game and something new is gonna happen. So anyways, right? Let me tell you the stuff I went to through the shadow brooch, right? Shadow hunter brooch It took me over 20 days to a month to basically nearly trying to get to get this then you have the improved mythical circlet. Very easy to farm, but the problem is they want you to spend over 630k gold to get it to like plus one all the way to five and then the final form and stuff, which it gives you like, what you call it, altogether total 630k, increasing apex skill damage by 5%. And then the powerful mass, mm. It doesn't cost that much, it's just a long ass grind to get the powerful mass just to get increased skill damage by 10% and increased power. So I would say all three all three of these together. I think the best the best set is more more BS than all of this stuff combined. The, the circlet, the mass, and the brooch. <laughs> but yeah. So, anyways, before I actually use my set. This is my build. This is my build for a priest and basically go run around solo and stuff. This is not the mystic build. This is the priest build. This is my best build. And there's all types of rotations random people do. Like you can go full full crit for what you call it, your jewelry set. That's what lots of reapers do. But but since awakening now, reapers don't need lots of crit, uh, lots of crit anymore. They could go to power. Like you could go up to like like nearly like. 400 power like nearly 400 it was disgusting no like no power just like 400 crit i meant to say crit my bad but yeah you could go for for reapers right now you could go with three power and two crit or three crit and two power you could do it either way it doesn't it doesn't really matter but i go with i go with uh i go with three crit and two power right and that's actually, a, it's a good build. I just got to switch my crystals around if I run with a, a mist. So anyway, if you get three jewelry set, you get increased endurance by 10, making your defense really, really, really stronger. Like that green number right here used to be like somewhere around like 26K. Now it's over like 100K. And then if you get five, right? You unlock all these white numbers. Now we're gonna go into the white. We're gonna, I mean, like you see all this, you see all that blank. You unlock all that. Now we're gonna get into that. It says obtain one stack abyssal draw on a, any successful skill hits on team or enemy uh, once per three seconds at max. When abyssal draw is stacked twenty times, all the stacks will consume. And become a abyssal power. Abyssal power increase final skill damage by 10% in the final resource. Ball by 20%. <laughs> Last for 3 seconds and their duration. I don't know how to say that word with any successful skill. Hit the, I can't breathe. You get the point. You'll lock all that stuff, which I don't understand. So, anyways, yeah. But also, not only that. For each, for each time you keep doing this, right, you gotta spend over 100k for each scroll. So altogether total, I have to spend over half a mil. It takes 10 diamonds. 10 diamonds is 10k. You can sell the diamonds or you can use it for materials. But yeah, it takes 10 diamonds. So altogether total, I have to spend a half a mil on this stuff. Now I'm gonna basically use my item converter turn this into my abyss now right that'd be interesting if you could sell this stuff I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put my two power and stuff on now I have 
full of this and I basically unlocked all of that. Now I'm going to basically see what this actually do so I'm going to have to basically test it on a boss. But I'm pretty sure um, throughout the whole entire fight you get 10% to increase skill damage. So, like anything you do is like increase skill damage by 10%. For like 15 seconds, but I think you gotta stack. I think you gotta like keep hitting the bosses, get a 20 stack, or I don't know. Somebody trying to explain to me this, but I'm gonna see what it actually does. But yeah, before we get to it, I'm, I'm basically I did everything in the game. The only thing I didn't do is basically get my uh, don't I don't have no tier 4 etching, which I don't have the patience to do, but I did everything in the game. Now they're basically going to make it to where the game could go frag some plus one, two, three and upgrade your gear. I ain't ready for that. I just became, I, I did everything in the game. Now I'll have to do even more stuff. So guys, let's go test it on the boss. Alright, so anyways, I'm still confused how this stuff actually still works. So, there's going to be this blue thing to the top right that i never seen before. At first, I had to do a demonstration how to see how this works. But there's going to be this little blue thing i never seen before that's going to be like 9 minutes and there's 16 on it. And if you hit something, it goes up. It goes up a little bit and then um then once you basically it's like every hit it basically goes up to another whatchamacallit and then once once it reach 20 i believe you have to keep on hitting something to keep the stack i don't really know but yeah here's the dark shadow thing but uh i'm still confused on how this thing works though but I need I need a I need to hop into a dungeon. No, I don't really need to. Uh, I'm still a bit confused after the little shadow glow thing. But once you hit something, it starts. And uh, let's see, someone's already here. Is this? Is that, is that Kato? No, that ain't Kato. Can't move. Oh, I guess so. Alright, so it goes up by it goes up by a little bit. I ain't trying to kill this thing really fast. Every three okay, I see it. Every, every three seconds it, it basically uh it goes up. Like, the number keep going up. I'm still <laughs> a little confused about it. But, let's see. But once, once it, um... I need to see something. Once it reach 20, you want to keep on hitting? Yeah, you wanna you wanna keep you you gotta keep hitting, you gotta keep you gotta keep hitting to keep it up. I believe. Look at the shadow glow under my feet. Okay, and if if you stop if you stop hitting, it only goes for like a few seconds. Oh, that's really tough. So I believe it last it lasts for like 15 seconds, but you gotta keep hitting something to keep it up. And uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not really trying to kill this thing way too quick. I need to go into a dungeon to be honest, cause this is this is not the right 
<laughs> Boston really tested him. Oh god, look at my HP. Alright. There's still more testing that should be done because I'm still new to this. Alright. So, like, every single time when you hit something, it goes up by one. So, once once you reach 20, you gotta keep hitting. You gotta keep hitting and hitting. If you stop hitting, I think it goes away too quick. But once, it, once you basically got a 20 stack, it activates. And you gotta keep hitting something. You gotta keep hitting, hitting, hitting. You can't stop. So, I, get, I believe you get 10 increased skill damage right here. You see this little shadow thing around my feet? And if, if you if you stop hitting, that's it. Alright, let me all right, let me look at something. Yeah, that's pretty much it. If you stop hitting, you're done. <laughs> let me um let me go to channel three. I'm basically getting used to it, but uh yeah. I'm I'm sort of getting your boy's sort of mastering a little bit. It's like trying to master but I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Right, let's kill one of them. Let's kill one of them more of these dudes. It's the best to try it in the dungeon, but you know, whatever. I ain't trying to kill these guys way too quick. Alright. The stack is right there. Alright, two. Oh. Huh? Oh, I'm lagging. Look, look at my character. I can't move. I, what is I'm doing? I'm, I'm not even doing. I'm a. Oh my god! Almost reset the boss. I ain't doing my rotation. It takes a long time trying to get that twenty stack though. But my problem is, I'm curious, like, I, I'm not trying to kill this boss really quick. I'm saving my shadowy for the thing. Alright. Look at my feet. No, no, you. I still have it. How long does it last for? I still have it. As long as you keep attacking, now it's done. I'm not, okay, so pretty much I was trying to look for the freaking bar Like when the timer goes out That's what I was trying to No Oh, I almost reset the boss That's the that's the one thing I'm trying to figure out And this boss done Yeah, so pretty much he stunned me, right? When he stunned me, like, you only get like three seconds, I think, and if you stop attacking, you're done. He stunned me. I'm like, no, no. All right, you guys. So after mastering, I'm going to explain to you how this basically works because I was really clueless. So it starts off like this, right? So you can stack it up to uh, 20 times, then it turns into a best power. So like pretty much every three seconds it goes up by one it goes up by one stack. So like right now, if you look on the top right, I got 17 on the bar. But but you, but you do iframes and all that type of stuff, it goes it goes up by one. As you can see, I did iframe it went up by 18, and I do not iframe it goes up by 19. So once you get 20, it goes into abyss power, meaning that all your increased skills basically go into um. Yeah, are you are your skills gonna be even more powerful and all that type of stuff and here's how long it lasts for so it lasts for three seconds and during the duration it basically it, re it keeps on retiming in three seconds so when you're basically when you're basically using abyss power it lasts for three seconds but you keep hitting you're resetting the three second timer 
and um it won't go away until 15 seconds so look make sure you look to the right so all right so here here is the uh timer i'm gonna use this all right look all right, it, it's three seconds, but I keep on resetting it. And now as you can see, the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the abyss power is right there. And it's, it's about to disappear after 15 seconds, right there, and then it disappears. Then you start all over, but if you iframe, it, that's when uh, whatchamacallit. I don't understand why you iframe it comes, comes back. But you can also use uh, Dev Spiral to basically, whatchamacallit, um, to... Uh, to basically stack it up so pretty much you just basically start all over and that's actually uh, it's really cool there is no there's like what's it called it takes you like at least a minute i say like a good minute to basically restack the uh whole 20 i say a minute or a minute 30 seconds you know so anyways right and uh yeah i may seem like uh, I just basically mastered it. it. It was confusing at first until you know it's like you know I like I like trying to explain something that I never tried before. So, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, uh, if you guys did, drop a like and uh, peace out. Oh man, woo, my voice hurts.